beyond the Monday morning quarterbacking, there's still plenty of cleanup to be done. Mm -hmm. CBS 2's Vince Gerasoli live with more on the looting and how neighbors and total strangers pitched in to help. Vince. Brad and Erica, if you talk to shop owners, they will tell you it was mostly the Loop and River North that were hit by what they consider to be a very coordinated effort. I want to show you some video now that the Chicago Police Department released, and you can see from these various surveillance cameras, most of them in River North and most of them uh, just outside a Nordstrom in a Nordstrom rack. You can see the looters calmly walking by in many instances and then pick up heavy objects, smash them right through a window, and then go inside and start taking out item after item, whether they were purses, whether they were clothes, whether they were television sets. Uh, apparently, as the business owner said, a very coordinated effort. We talked to more than one business owner who said waiting outside would be a truck or a car. And there were also meeting points, apparently, where people were dividing up whatever they had a chance to get their hands on. Now I want to show you some video of cleanup and aftermath that our cameras were able to catch or capture throughout the rest of the day. And you, you really get the sense of how businesses were hit, uh, not just once a few months ago, but a second time with this overnight looting. There were instances where pharmacies were targeted. You could see ATMs pulled out of the pharmacies. You could see uh, the drugs and controlled substances uh, were just littering the floors in those areas. You could see businesses that had boarded up only a few weeks ago, some that had taken down the boards only within the past few three or four weeks, uh, putting boards back up to protect windows that may not have been uh, damaged. And also there were shopkeepers saying this is the second time that that, that, that uh, I am having to, to deal with this. People who had to clean up ju just uh, bits and pieces of glass all over. And then there were the neighbors. Neighbors who came out and said they couldn't let this happen without getting involved, without extending a hand to the shopkeepers, pitching in and helping to clean up. Listen to these folks. No, I mean, I think you can let adversity affect you in a negative way or positive. Just going to try and, and turn this and what we're doing as an example of how you can make a, a positive impact. And there's a lot of other people helping clean up right now as well, which is inspiring to us. So I'm just glad to help be a part of it. And hopefully it's uh, looking good as new as soon. That couple was speaking to us from right outside the Nordstrom in River North, and you can see all the debris, all the leftover clothing items that couldn't make it in the looters' hands just on the escalators there. But uh, let's just concentrate on one thing that that gentleman said, and he was not alone because we met uh, more than our fair share of people trying to pitch in today. Try to do the positive thing. This is uh, really a, a dark moment for the city, waking up on a Monday to situations like this. But then you look for the bright spots. The bright spots where the people pitching in for their neighbors, trying to make sense of the situation, and trying to help everyone move forward. Reporting live in the Loop, I'm Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News.